and welcome to my seventh Java pr beginner programming tutorial on SciGuy 1121 and let's go ahead and get started. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about while loops and by today I mean the same day that I told you guys I would talk about while loops. It's literally about two minutes later. Um, so back on topic, um, as you, if you recall we last episode we did for loops if you think that last episode we did strings and char variables, then you're wrong. Please go watch episode 6. Please go in order. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and delete this for loop and delete this because we don't need that. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about while loops. And what a while loop is, is it pretty much, it uses a boolean variable or boolean. Um, which I talked about in episode four, I think. Um, and y if you remember, a boolean is like um, boolean, um, like bool equals true, and it's pretty much true or false. So um, a while loop is while bool. Um, equal while bool, or you can do while bool equal equal true, then do this. Um, so I think this system dot 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 print line. Um, is true. Now you'll see if we run this you may have noticed already that obviously well bool is always true so this will keep running forever and you're right. See it keeps going until we terminate it. You have been terminated. Um, so what we might want to do is go ahead and say um, bool equals false, but then it would only go one time, right? So um, this is a good opportunity for me to also talk to you about if statements. And I'll probably go more in detail in a later episode, but just for now, um, it pretty much tests whether or not something is true. So, um, we can declare a variable um, up here, like int i um, equals zero, and in here we can say i plus plus, which, if you remember, it adds one to i every time it reaches this, and then we can go ahead and say if i and equal equal. You always use two equal signs if you're testing whether or not something is true because a single equal sign assigns an, a, um, the word lost me, it assigns a value to the variable. Two equal signs, it tests if it's true or not. And we can say if i equal equal 10 And then let's say bool equal false. So if we go ahead and do this, you can see bool is true, bool is true, bool is true. But wait, it's not going forever anymore. So um, that's the basics of an if statement. It pretty much tests whether or not something is true. And um, the final thing I want to talk about is you don't have to type this equal equal true in a while loop. Um, whenever you're using a boolean, whether it be an if statement, a while loop, all you need to do is type while bool and then it, see, it does the same thing. Um, and then the opposite, if we turn this to false, then true, then we can put an exclamation mark before it and this is saying while bool equals false or while not 
bool. So if we run this, it does the same thing. Um, so I think I'm going to end this tutorial here. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.